and here we are another another wonderful night day 26 of practice always fun to show up and kick butt no <laughs> um so today i practiced like crazy for uh, several times today out of um this book which is available as well as many others on archive.org you can find them just look up violin studies or violin whatever they even have um, some of the pieces by Paganini and some of the other wonderful, wonderful things. But if you're looking for just a book to study out of and learn bowing techniques and things like that, I highly recommend just going to archive.org. Um, make sure you, that you check out the, the publications um, or printed section. It's all free and you can download it. This one is um, <clears throat> Opus 3, 40 Variations. And um, I was practicing today over and over again, variation five, because variation five kicks my butt. Oh, wait, I'm holding it too high. There you go. Variation five, which is right here. Uh, it is uh, a piece that seriously makes me crazy because of the um, phrasing. And I know that phrasing is something I really need to work on. And so... And so I am. Uh, so I don't know. Um, I'm I'm not gonna do it anymore because <clears throat> if you do something too often or too much, what tends to happen is your brain kind of switches off, and uh, even though the muscle memory is starting to come, your 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 mind is bored with it, and so you're not engaged. So I don't want to do that. Um, something else I was doing was playing around with um, head Hedgewig theme from Harry Potter earlier and that was really a fun one to play around with and I think I did it no I did not do it all on one string but I was messing with it I still sorry it's getting late here <clears throat> it's about eight o'clock and I've already done over an hour of practice so you know what I really I'm noticing my seats something is going on let me just get some of the rosin off my strings. I'm noticing that um, my C string is starting to um, develop a, like a warble or a, a buzz. And I think it's probably trying to tell me it's time to change my strings. Either that or uh, I somehow clunked it and my C string is not in love with me anymore. But yeah, there's a raspiness going on. Can you hear that? Yeah. So that's telling me that the string is getting to the point where it doesn't love me anymore. Either that or it's because my E, my E string tuner is pulled out all the way. That could be doing it too. Hmm. Little bit. Hang on. Ah, it was my E string fine tuner that was making that rattling noise. Because earlier today, I went to tune my violin and it was way out of tune on the E string. Um, so it was, it was like sharp. And so I, you know, pulled back and then uh, on the fine tuner and I guess a little too much because yeah, that happened. So... <laughs> I did my makeup today for you. Okay, so let's see. I feel like,
trying to get the pinky action in there. The more you work on your pinky, I think the better. Um, hence playing uh, all of your song or your song all on one string. I mean, you really stretch the pinky. If you have to play an entire song on one string, you're messing with that pinky, let me tell you. Now, I know you see me do the wiper wash all the time and that's to help strengthen my pinky on my right hand, but um, every so often, it's good to do it with your left hand to strengthen the pinky also, but try not to collapse your thumb like I just did. Because it really, if you don't collapse your thumb, then you really are forcing the pinky to do the work. So I know that I'm, I'm not a left-handed uh, bow bow player, but if you do this with your bow, you will feel it on your pinky and you will feel uh, the weight of the bow and how it feels. Just make sure you have enough room to do it. Like right here, I'm pretty tight. I've got the mic on one side, my chair on the other, and I'm trying really hard not to hit either. But this is a great exercise to do to help with your pinky. Um, so I'm going to switch back to the normal hand for this. I've really got to get my there. Oh, that feels so much better. Oh, that feels so much better. Okay. Oh, now, today um, I was practicing so much with this hand that I actually started to cramp up. And that's how you know you have tension. But it was also because my, my hands were just tired. Like I had been doing a lot. Now, I have not, well, I don't really, I don't really want to play My Blue Heaven. I feel like I play it enough. I do like um, nu nuages, nuage, nuages. It's Clouds. It's a slow song. It's written by Django. It's a ballad. It's in the 2008 Django Fake Book, which is available online. You just have to type in Django 2008 Fake Book and you'll find a copy you can print out for yourself. This is in the key of G. And it starts on a C sharp. And I still have problems hitting the other strings. <laughs> I'm starting to think it's not because I play a five uh, string violin but it's just me. The next one is D. I should be able to stretch with my pinky and hit that D to give it some nice vibrato. I am having some problems. the face of frustration. I can't even talk tonight. Uh, this is the face of frustration and it is perfectly natural during practice time. And if you don't have frustration as you're trying to work through a song, then you're doing things that are too easy for you and you need to work on it. really struggling sometimes it's best to go back to basics I'm noticing that when I play across the strings that my bow is traveling a lot I don't really like that so I'm gonna use the mirror that's right directly across from me I'm gonna watch myself 
um, do this. So, and I'm, I'm not going to hold my violin where I normally do. Like where I have my hand out here, I'm going to hold it right here. And if you notice, a lot of violin players have a lot of wearing right here. If I had to guess, it's because they're holding on to it when they're doing this. And it takes away the varnish. I just want to make sure my bow hold is correct. I'm trying not to call it a grip because it's not a grip. You're not, you're not like this. You're very trying to be very relaxed and just have a correct hold. Try not to hit the frog on the strings like I just did. Look how crooked that was. Wow. way crooked. All the violin teachers that have been watching me up to this point are saying, yay, she's fine. Doing something to correct that. I've been trying. I'm just, you know. My biggest problem is like that, you know, I see a lot of. Yeah, I see a lot of violinists who are able to um, let their let their hand be totally relaxed and then still have a good hold. And it's very, it's confusing to me. Like, how do they do it? Because once you're in this, doing this, it's like, how are you? Because I feel like I'm sliding all around and can't get a good grip. And I have my grip like this. I'm not buckling my thumb. I'm not, it's not uh, collapsing. I've got my pinky on the bottom, looking in the mirror, making sure. that there are some teachers out there that like when they get they get you <laughs> they will make you spend like a whole year just getting this kind of stuff down and I'm like I would not I don't know that I would survive that but but I could see taking a few like especially like right now taking this practice to do this because it's worth it
once again, I just want to reiterate that you have to go through this stuff to build the muscle memory to make sure that you're doing things correctly. And the worst thing in the world is to just start playing and then have to relearn all over again, like how to play. It's the worst. See, that was, did you see that? That was terrible. Now, another thing that I've seen them tell you to do is to come from nowhere. So, you want to just land on the one string. Oh, very crooked, very crooked. Yeah, that's part of it. Okay. Feel the way that feels, Amy. Feel the way that feels. Right like that. Okay, taking time to, to face the hold. talk about like let's say actors right it's it's um some people think well it's easier to take an actor that's timid and make them into a better actor because you just have to raise them up to the level but that's actually uh not true it's actually easier to take an actor that is uh flamboyant and boisterous and out there why? Because they're not shy about it. They're not shy about their personality and they're not shy about being somebody else. And that's easier to kind of rein in than it is to try to break through somebody's shell. So in the same way, if you overcorrect, so let's say I over, like overcorrect and I, that's overcorrection. It's easier to kind of go, oh, okay. And actually, I want to overcorrect at first because then I'm kind of. And actually, when I when I'm overcorrecting, my I'm actually correct, which is really weird. Perfect. And I feel like I'm overcorrecting. feels like I'm going like this, but it's not. Now it is. So I'm... And all of my hitting the strings, or the other strings, may be due to um, playing the strings at an angle. If I'm playing them straight, it's, it's, it's going to be easier for me. Okay, so I'm all over the, the landscape at the moment.
actually am overcorrecting too far, so it's weird. <laughs> the other extreme, the E. It takes about three times as long to unlearn something as it does to learn something. So I might be in the process of unlearning some muscle memory stuff. And that's going to take a little time. Um, I'm not going to worry about doing anything else other than I am going to do the up bow now. And then I'm going to say that's a good practice. Remember that I did practice about an hour already today. However, now I'm realizing I probably practiced wrong. Oh, I have a comment. Are you an adult beginner? Yes. Are you learning it by yourself or with the help of an instructor? I am. Wesley, I am, yes, learning it pretty much by myself. Um, I do have an adult instructor that is helping me, but I have only met with them twice, and that was over a six-month period. So a lot of the information that I provide and um, all of that is from uh, certain people on YouTube that I have found to be um, good with their information, like Fiddlehead has a couple of good exercises and I've mentioned them before. And I have also um, met with some other, or um, watched some other ones too. So I hope that answers your question. I'm sorry I didn't see you right away. I can't, um, you know, answer right away. <laughs> sorry, I wish I could. Okay, coming back under. Whoa. See, sometimes when you practice something too much, you get, you get a little worse before you get better, but that's okay. Yes, I am an adult student. And yes, I have... Um, Trying not to. I feel like my um, D string is a little bit flat. Okay. 
So when you're practicing anything, uh, whether whatever genre you're trying to get um, to be your genre to play in, it doesn't matter what. Uh, learn the instrument so that when you're when you're in this place where you're just like I want to play a song you can actually do it So Earlier we tried to play nuages So um, just like any time that you're trying to relearn something, like when you, you learned it wrong, <laughs> you go back to try to play and you think, well, now I've learned it right and I'll play it better. No, you'll play it really bad for a while. Really bad. Because now you've totally messed up how you're used to playing and you've got to get it. But at least you're on the right path now. And that's something to be really, you know, you should congratulate yourself. A lot of times we beat ourselves up for something where we really should, you know, yeah, we messed up how we learned it, but now we're on the right track. And so that's, that's progress, even though it may not sound like progress at first. Woman, which I learned a hundred years ago and used to be able to play it super fast. Now I'm playing it super slow and making mistakes because I've had to fix my bowing technique. Ah! Anyway, that's all the time I'm going to do tonight or today. I hope um, that you guys keep practicing. Remember that, you know, progress should be congratulated even when it's tiny. Please don't be mean to yourself and remember to celebrate your small victories because through small victories is incremental success. Ta-da. God bless you guys. I hope that the rest of your night goes awesome.